Hi, my name is Victor Gonzalez and I'm an art educator at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. And today I'll be teaching you how to create your very own self-portrait um, inspired by the art movement known as Cubism, which was actually created, co-created by Pablo Picasso. For this project, there's a couple different things or supplies you may need. They shouldn't be too hard to gather. Something, hopefully there's something you can find around your home. Um, you will need actually one black piece of construction paper. This will serve as your background for your portrait. So make sure you have that handy. Or even if it's just a black piece of paper, just something that is solid, dark like this. Um, next, you, look, you can use quite a few different pieces of construction paper, just different colors that you can choose from. Um, so also so that you're not using just construction paper, you can, you can pick from magazines. I have two different ones here, like a drawing and a science magazine. You can use newspapers that are lying around the house that you're not using anymore. Um, I have a couple pieces of tissue paper here that'll be fun to cut up and use later. Um, you can also use like ads that you receive in the mail. You also need to use glue sticks. Um, regular liquid glue should be fine as well, um, but this is what I had on hand and it seems to work a little bit better most of the time. Um, I also have, um, oh, scissors. Um, they don't have to look exactly like this. They could be small ones for you little kids out there. Um, different type, any type of scissors that you just happen to be have around the house. Um, also, I do have a Sharpie on handy. Never hurts to have a Sharpie in case when you're creating or drawing something out, you want to make sure you can draw it first and then cut it out later. Um, that's perfectly fine. I also will have a, we'll be using a template here that I drew of a face and neck. Um, I just grabbed a white piece of construction paper or white piece of paper. And then with my Sharpie, I drew this template out of the face. Um, I will be using this to cut out and glue onto the black piece of construction paper later. Pablo Picasso, the artist that we'll be focusing on today. Um, he was born October 25th, 1881, and he died April 8th, 1973. Um, he is known to be as one of the most dominant and influential artists of the 20th century. He co-founded the art movement known as Cubism, and he helped contribute to symbolism and surrealism while also he invented collage as well, which we'll also be incorporating into our project today. Um, we'll be using, we'll be grabbing a couple different aspects from Pablo Picasso's creative world. So cubism will be one of them. We'll also be um, using collage and we'll be talking a little bit like about self-portrait. Um, he didn't help create self-portrait, but self-portrait is a part, a huge aspect of the project today, but has been around for a very long time. Um, so cubism is a style of artwork that aims to show every possible viewpoint of a person or object. Um, it gathers its name, cubism, from the fact that every subject that is depicted in the artwork um, is, is actually looks like it's made up of di different geometric shapes. So like circles, triangles, rectangles, squares, hexagons, um, all the shapes, you, can, you name it. Um, and then collage actually gathers several it, it's a combination of several different materials mediums to create a single piece of artwork like today we're using several different types of paper so construction paper magazines newspapers if you have it um, mail advertisements tissue paper um, all to create one single piece of artwork instead of just construction paper um, sometimes other collages use photographs if you have those you can use those as well um, sometimes people would use three-dimensional or ten pieces of texture so like sand or yarn um, even like pieces of like wire fence, chicken wire, um, all those types of things to all create one piece that is collage, several different mediums in one piece of artwork. Um, also, like I said, this is a self-portrait as well. So a self-portrait is actually when an artist creates the piece and, and it's a rendering of him or herself. Um, instead of a portrait where an artist is creating a piece where he's actually, he or she is looking at a person and creating, rendering them. Um, so try and think of a self-portrait as a selfie, um, but you're actually creating it yourself. All right, so we have all of our supplies laid out to create our self-portraits inspired by cubism. I will be using the template that I have drawn for my head and neck and face. Um, I have already traced that onto this yellow construction paper, which will serve as my head and face. So now I will go ahead and go about cutting that out. And make sure this will be your first thing to start. You'll just cut out the shape of a, of a head and neck out of any color construction paper of your choosing. Next, 
Next, we will take our black construction pair, which is our background. We will now place our shape of our head onto a black piece of construction paper. Now, once we have it all set where we'd like, we'll grab our glue sticks and you will then we'll go ahead and proceed to glue, adhere the glue to the to the yellow construction paper. As you can see, I have quite a few different shapes already pre-cut here. Um, that's just to save for the, just to have some things ready, just in case I'd like to use them. Um, and I did already pre-cut um, some triangle shapes of form, form to form my hair. Um, and I did glue that already down. So what we'll do next or what you would normally do next, actually, is you would then take an L or any of your pieces of construction paper, tissue paper, newspaper, photographs, magazines, anything that you have, and you'll begin to take your scissors and cut shapes out that you would like to use or, or particularly use, or maybe use. Keep in mind that these shapes will actually represent your eyes, your ears, mouth, nose, um, any other things that you have on your face or clothes, your earrings, um, your hair. Um, so keep it in mind, don't be afraid to change with the sizes and the proportions of these different features of your face, enlarge them, make them smaller, make them different shapes. Because that is one thing about cubism, everything looks like it was made up of geometric shapes. So here is my face so far. I'm kind of happy with it, so I'm going to start to slowly glue on these different shapes already. It helps when you're creating your shapes from your pieces of different, many different papers that you have that you keep in mind of what you would like these to be. So it helps with the process of creating later. And here we go. A Cubis inspired self-portrait of myself. Not too bad. I think it came out pretty well. So, once you finish your self-portraits, make sure to share them on social media so that everybody can see them. Um, make sure to tag the BMOA um, at the BMOA and hashtag museum at home. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create. Maybe we'll end up sharing them on the, on our, on the Bakersfield Museum of Art social media pages. Um, so I can't wait to see it, you guys.